hi everyone welcome back to my family channel how are you all doing thank you guys so much for coming back so today today is thursday and today is last day of school today and the time is uh 12 53 they are finishing at 1 30 so i came early so that you know you guys you know i like coming to the school early and all those kind of stuff so i would like to share some 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 things i don't know how to put it but i would like to share some my personal experience with you guys um because i'm a mother those of you that you are new i'm a mother of three um, my first is 14 my second is 12 and my last is seven now yes i'm just want to share my experience with you guys as a mom in the um from in the primary because i have three kids and they are not the same age especially my last one the age, the age is very very far 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 and my experience and some things that i did that um my some mistake that i did that i regret so if you're a new mom uh, maybe you have a child who is going to start um reception in september you'll be able to learn from my mistake okay guys <laughs> or maybe you have a a child in school already but you have more experience that in case things like this you'll be able to say oh jenny did that and i'm gonna learn from this don't let me do it let me correct things from Janet's mistake okay guys i'm joking you might might not so anyway so um today is thursday as i said yesterday was wednesday i went to work yesterday and i just i came home this morning i didn't just come home i came home my normal time i came home around eight there were not much traffic because some kids are on holiday already so i came home around 8 25 and i have to go to my daughter's uh secondary school because she have some some stuff she want me to get for her so i got it and i came I, I, okay i went home and i took my shower then i went there to take it and i went to ask that because i need to get my son teacher something and uh, it was last minute because i thought they were finishing on on friday which is tomorrow that is what they put on their website they are finishing but i just spoke to the teacher uh on thursday and the teacher was like oh we are finishing on thursday i'm like wow really so i don't know what to get i have never done this before on my own this is my first time doing this and i'm going to share every detail every bit with you guys so um i was i went to ask that i don't know what to get because i need to get a teacher something it's not by force you know and i remember yesterday I, is it yesterday yeah yesterday when i came to pick my son in the afternoon i remember some moms were giving the teacher gifts everybody just doing it on their own so i decided when i was in asda i don't know what to get but i saw some moms a lot of people are buying chocolate it's as if it's last minute so i saw this mom she was packing chocolate and i spoke to her sorry to ask um are you buying that for your children teacher she said yes i'm buying this for my and my daughter teachers uh, i'm a new mom i think her daughter was sitting in a trolley and the way she is is around three so she's still in nursery so she was like oh yeah i'm giving this to my um blah 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 so she bought this chocolate this chocolate is the one one of it she bought so i took this because there's so many chocolates but i don't know which one and i bought two of this because my son only have two teacher you only she only i mean you only have one teacher and one assistant teacher so i bought this some people were buying flowers they were giving flower me i know they do flowers so and i bought this because i don't know what to buy it was last minute and i've not done this before my own so i'm gonna give to the teacher and i wrote some things here it's just about uh sorry my handwriting is not that friendly <laughs> Okay, so so my experience, I feel like in this term, I don't know whether it's because of the virus, it's like everybody is just minding their business, everybody is doing their own thing. Because I remember my daughter then, those days, my oldest daughter, when she was in from reception to year six, those parents during that time most of that parent then is is their own last child that was in the same class with my child and some of them is the only one child they have 
and these parents they are so well organized they are so good at planning so every year when it's getting to half term one we even open a group chat the governor of the school one of the moms the governor of the school she opened a group chat just for the mom so anything that is going on it keep us alert um is he alert or alert and when after like this is coming uh, she will, um some of the moms will just talk to us that oh half time is coming what can we get for the teachers can we i mean can we uh, gather money and buy so so or some of them like we can just it's so sometimes they'll say okay we bring 10 pound or bring 20 pound and if they are not forcing if you have give if you don't have you don't have to but i always give because i don't feel like although i miss one i miss one guys but it was last minute i didn't know it was last minute but since i know i'm always ready because i don't feel like even though they ask for 20 pounds i don't feel like 20 pounds is so much because these teachers they were with our kids you know they teach our kids monday to friday and it's not only it's not only my kids these teachers are teaching they have other children different character different behavior i have three kids my three kids they don't have the same character three of them have different behavior that i have to deal with so you can imagine them dealing with different children do do in bow indian or this or that or they have to deal with different it's not easy so i don't think 20 pounds is you know so when we give like that they will organize maybe they'll buy flower or maybe they'll get a voucher mount and spencer voucher will give to the teachers and things like that so that is how we always do with with my oldest daughter then the moms are so friendly you know i'm not saying the one they have now they are not so friendly you know like during the half term the last day they can say oh can we go somewhere to have something to eat while the kids are playing they just like organizing things and most of the organizing going things me i don't have time to go but at least they always keep me informed and anything i need to contribute or if we come to we need to contribute something even though i won't be there i like contributing i like you know be you know just give as well that okay i'm not gonna be there but this is my own part of this is what i can afford to do but um but with my my with my with my second daughter is is not that like that much but with my son everybody just minding their business you know all the mom there they are so boring <laughs> i'm boring as well one mom out to volunteer but i did something on 2019 which i regret and that is why i say maybe some of you will be able to learn from my mistake if you are a new mom um, when it comes to the time, you know how to avoid things like that so that it doesn't affect any other moms. So in 2019, during the Christmas holiday, the last day, this mom came to me. She said, oh, um, you know, it's going to be half term next week, the Christmas half term. I am renting a hall. And after the children finishes, I think they finish at 1.30 or... I, I can't even remember the time they finish. But she was saying when they finish, they go to the hall. The children can have fun. While we parents, we have fun. That um, parents are free to bring food and things like that. So she was telling me that, oh, uh, can she add me to the group chat? That she opened a group chat. That can she add me to a group chat so that since I'm interested as well. I said, yes. So she had me to the group chat and then she, uh, the following day I came to pick my son. But we still have one week to what we are saying. The following day she spoke to me. She was like, oh, uh, so so mom says she's bringing this. The other mom says she's bringing that. What would you like to bring? I said, oh, you guys, you know me now. I said, I'll bring what I know how to cook the best. I said, I'll bring jollof rice and chicken. So she wrote it down that Isaac's mom will be bringing jollof rice and chicken. So everybody that's bringing something she wrote it down so that day was on a friday and you guys you know on thursday i go to work so um i went to work on thursday night that week i i had a busy night a busy night at work you guys you know i do night shifts 11 hour shifts i was exhausted my head my head was heavy here is aching me any of you that you've done night shift before 
that you know how it is you, you related to what i'm saying you will just understand but if you haven't done night shift before you might not understand what i'm saying but when i came home i said because i've promised this mom and they wrote it down they'll be expecting me or even though even though they are not expecting me they'll be expecting that oh isaac or ladaios mom will be bringing something you know because if somebody wants to bring this they'll be like oh Oh no, Allah that your mom said she was gonna bring this. Also, oh, so mom said she was gonna bring sandwich, so you don't have to bring sandwich. Somebody else is bringing it already. Choose something else. So, I managed to make that jollof fries when I came home. I managed to make the jollof rice. I seasoned the chicken, I soft chicken wings. I make it was so delicious. I was giving, I, I was giving the address, the, the address was on the group chat. So I came to pick my son. At that time, I was double, triple exhausted. Hmm. Ah, I've not slept. So I came to pick my son. By the time I will come and pick my son, I think maybe I was maybe like five minutes late. They've already they've already picked their own kids. They've already head to the hall. So I didn't see any mom to talk to. Like, oh, well, can you, you know, because I don't know the hall. They just send me the address, kind of. So when I pick my son, the food is in the car. I'm like, okay, let's go. I remember my daughter was in the car. Then my daughter, I pick, my daughters were in the car. Because I picked them first. And before, so I was, because of that, I was five minutes late. Since like that, because I was like, your brother is having a Christmas party with his friend let's go together you know and luckily they are finishing earlier before him so i picked them and i came to pick my son were in the car and i typed the address when uh, with my phone then i was using my iphone 7 i typed the address and this time as i'm talking to you this about this time i was exhausted 100 time exhausted i tell you guys i i cannot I can't and I was trying to call the phone is not going I don't just know what happened the phone is not going through and I'm like the address I don't know whether the, the map is not even telling me to go right it's not even telling me to go left and I was exhausted I'm like I can't do this I can't there's no way I can do this you know I just I just went home yes guys I went home I took the rice home and the chicken me and my kids, me and my family, we had it. It was so delicious. Imagine they've put my name down that Isaac's mom will be bringing jollof fry. I'm sure they would have been waiting for me. They didn't see me. So after then, after the kids start school, I saw the mom. I felt bad, but I I don't know what to say. They sometimes they people don't understand what you're going through. Maybe some people will just judge you. Oh, you disappoint me. Oh, why, why? Do you give that person chance to explain why that person disappoints you? So when school starts, I remember that the mom, she tried to avoid me. She was looking at me a bit strange, but I didn't see anything. I was hoping that if she come to me that, ah, Janet, we're expecting you. You didn't come. What happened? I would have explained myself, but she never asked me anything. She, she was just looking at me strangely for at least for about two weeks. And then later on, but we never talk about why didn't I turn up and things like that. So my mistake is, if you are in a situation like that, that you cannot go, just call the person in charge. Say, oh, I won't be able to make it, please. Uh, or is there anybody in the school which I can give the food to bring? Because I didn't speak to anybody. It was only this lady I was speaking with. I called her. The, I think the phone was ringing. She's not picking because she's one organizing. She's one that... What she did, she was one that rent the hall. She rent the hall. She was in charge. So other moms need to bring food just for us to have fun while the kids are playing, having Christmas party, enjoying. We mom too, we deserve to sit down and, you know, enjoy ourselves. Not that the children will be having fun, will be looking like this. So she really tried. So next time, if you are in my shoe, just try to communicate with a person oh i won't be able to come because of this but what i promise i'll cook i've already cooked uh is there anybody around to anybody any moms will be coming in the school that can 
can collect the food from me you know so things like that so now today is half term the parents are coming early i can see some parents because some some of the children are finishing year one is finishing at 125 year two my son is in year two he's finishing at uh, 130 so let me look at the time so yeah that is my that is my story oh it's nine minutes past nine minutes past uh, one so that is my story and yeah so these days nobody tell any moms oh can you contribute 20 pound or 10 pound or even 5 pound we need to organize for the teachers nobody said that everybody just buy whatever they can afford to buy giving to the teachers so this is my first time actually doing this myself normally we do it in a group that is what i mean i don't know whether you guys understand the english i was saying earlier we do it in a group but this, this i don't know whether it's because of the covid every every mom is just doing their thing if you see mom they are holding uh gift bag giving to the teachers giving to the teaching teacher as teacher assistant so that is my story and um, yeah so that's what is going on in today's video just to share this with you guys and yeah you know so so many experiences isn't it with with my son it's just so different i remember my daughter my oldest daughter the, the moms are so great they like organizing all these posh posh moms but then it was 2000 and because i passed my driving in 2013 and before then when i drop my daughter i'm always in a hurry so that i can catch my boss because i just finished nine shifts nine shifts and then from there i've been doing nine shifts for a long time and because of my kids okay and when I finish my night shift, I'm bringing my daughter. When I drop my daughter, I'm looking at the time the bus will come. So I'm always in a rush. So sometimes they'll be like, Janet, why do you always rush? Because when they drop their kid, they are waiting in front of the school. They'll be chatting. They can be chatting for two hours. Maybe those moms, they don't have work to do. Me, I have work. I want to go home and go and sleep. Before it will be time for me to come and pick my daughter. By the time I pick my daughter, in the evening again, my shift starts at 8. That time, I was working in nursing home then. Oh my goodness ah. so even some mom, more moms have stopped me before like oh can i drop you i'm like oh no I'm like, but you're going the same way i'm going let me drop you some one of them was saying oh janet you don't even you don't even add like something something why do you behave like this we want to drop you and but i said no no it's fine and something like that that is almost cause argument with this me and mom and the way she spoke to me i don't like it and i tell her that next time please can you know talk to me like that i don't like it if i don't want you to give me a ride you don't have to use that and talk to me this way it's my choice okay so you know i'm not just someone like i like chatting even up to now even i only work wednesday and thursday my monday my tuesday you will not see me drop my son and wait in front of the school and be chatting with parents if i don't have any friends i remember it was only when my daughter my first child then it was only how I talked to the parents, you know, because I don't know the Isha, but the parents are, you know, but even sometime weekend, they were like, oh, can we have barbecue? Can we bring the kids together? I attend the one I can, but I tell you that most of it I did not attend. So they've seen me, oh, Janet. So they now say, we are not even bothered going to tell Janet, but she will not come. But because I was busy, I don't drive. I was a working mom. I have two kids, two age. Because my my second daughter, my oldest daughter is only uh, 23 months older than my second. So I'm always, yeah, but that is my story. But these days, still, I don't, I don't chat with anybody. I just mind my business. I, I know there are some, there are like, there are like three moms still in the school that they are that my first some one of them is my first my first daughter was in the class with her own first son as well uh -huh. 
and the other two, my second daughter, was in the same class as the children as well. So we still say hi, hi to each other because it's a long time we've known each other. But those moms in the um, year three now, they are new mom. Some of them is their first child in the, in the school, you know. So I don't. But this, the mom I told you guys that told me to what can I bring that I said jollof rice her daughter was the only child she have and the only first I don't know where I don't know where, where she's having more child I don't know I shouldn't be saying that but yes that is it but I just like minding my business I like in my car if I'm bored I won't talk to you guys I just on my phone and talk to you guys or I call my husband on video camera and we talk or I call my mom and I chat with my mom so yes, anyway, that's what is going on. Thank you guys for watching and I'm going now. They are finishing at 1.30, but I've seen some parents. In fact, the lady I'm talking about, I told you guys that I said I'm gonna bring Jello fried. I just saw her going. She just came out from her car, she's going. Her daughter in the same class with my son. So my son is finishing year two this, this afternoon. By September, my son will start year three. Hey! I don't they body a deal. I don't they get freedom dear dear. <laughs> or oh, I don't they gain freedom dear dear. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me go and give them the gift. Yes. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>